Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I thought for my first video it would probably be easiest if I just went ahead and started out with a haul and just kind of got the hang of this whole video thing because this is my first time doing YouTube videos. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into it. Um, I have been doing a ton of shopping lately. I actually have a blog. It's tealbluebeauty.com. I will list all the information in the bottom bar, um, but because of the blog, I have been doing a ton of shopping, trying to catch up on a lot of products and get you know all the new stuff that's out. So I have a ton of stuff and I thought, why not start off with a haul? So I'm just going to get into it before I talk your ear off. So first off, I'm going to start with Sephora, which I have a couple of these that are completely full. I am Baby Rouge and you will find out why soon. So the first thing that I picked up is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Body Butter. Yes, body butter. Um, and I got the scent Sweet Citrus. This is my absolute favorite, but I love anything that is coconut, lime, anything that's kind of citrusy, but not, I don't know, not in that like zingy way, like in a fresh kind of beachy way. And this stuff is amazing. So it's really, really pricey but it is amazing. Oh, it smells like heaven. I've heard people complain about the smell. I don't know what they're talking about. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, the other nice thing too is that if you are anything like me and you have ultra, ultra sensitive skin, which I have such sensitive skin. My daughter actually has eczema too, and I can use this on her and it doesn't irritate her. It actually works really, really well. Got to the Josie Marin product. It is the Josie Marin Bare Naked Wipes. I love, love, love these things. They do a really good job of taking off all of your makeup, but also they're not irritating and I have sensitive skin, so that's a really big deal. I actually had a friend tell me about the Say Yes to Cucumbers Wipes and said they were amazing and they weren't irritating and I tried them and they were irritating for me. So if you have super sensitive skin, this is probably something that you'll want to try out. This is something that I haven't tried yet. This is the Argan Creamy Cleansing Oil Treatment and Cloth. It comes with a microfiber cloth. One side is soft and then one side is a little more coarse. I guess that's the scrubby side. It comes in a little jar like this. Oh, it smells so good. It has a little lid thing. In it. It's almost like coconut butter coconut butter, coconut oil, when it gets cool and how it solidifies. It's exactly what this one is like. It smells amazing. It smells so luxurious. It smells like a spa. So I can't wait to try this. If you follow me on Instagram, which I will put my um, Instagram, all my information for social media and everything down below in the bottom bar, um, I posted a video. I was so excited to receive this in the mail. This actually wasn't something I bought in store. I had to fight for this on the internet. It was like the Hunger Games in there. It was crazy, but I got it. I'm so excited. Finally, I've been wanting this for so long and I finally managed to get my hands on it. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and it is gorgeous. I took it out earlier and I was looking at it. I haven't played with it yet. I promised myself that I wouldn't until I did this video, but it is beautiful. I have heard amazing things about that banana color right there. So I can't wait to get into that. Whoa, and I'm gonna break it before I even use it. Whew. Something else that I was trying to get my hands on for a really long time and I finally got it. It is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Moonstone. I wanted opal and then I started looking at opal and I am fairly light. When the summer goes on, I will probably get a little bit darker, but for now I felt like this was probably the best color for me and it is just like this. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can see that on my hand, but it's just a really, really nice highlighter and it's beautiful. I cannot wait to dig into this one. I am so excited. I will probably go out and buy Opal. And then the next thing that I got is this. It is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have one of the ambient lighting blushes. That's actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I think it's in the, I think it's the magenta one. I'll have um, everything that I'm wearing in the bottom bar. I'm dropping everything. But it looks like this. The packaging is beautiful. And it looks like this. This is Ethereal Glow. It is, it's the lightest powder that they have. 
and you rub it in and it just kind of disappeared. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but I've been playing with it and I really feel like it just absolutely disappears and doesn't do anything. But I have to actually try it on my face first because I might end up loving it. But for now, I'm kind of on the fence about it. The next thing that I got, I finally bit the bullet and I got the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. I've been going back and forth on this for a really long time. This is pretty. I love the package and I'm kind of a sucker for packaging. But inside, I'm trying to do this without the mirror blinding you. I'll swatch one of them and see if you can see anything. It's not super pigmented from what I can tell. I haven't played with it a ton. I don't know if you can see it's right there. I haven't played with it a ton. Um, I played with it a little bit in store and then I've just kind of swatched a couple of colors on my hand and it doesn't seem super pigmented. It's a little bit powdery which was one of the things that was kind of turning me off about it, kind of making me think that my cats really wanted. Um, it also came with a little baby Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. I'm super picky about my mascaras and that is a big wand. I don't like big wands so I'll have to try that out. The Legendary Lip Gloss. I actually got two of them. I really really liked Gingerly and Disco Rose so that's the two that I um, picked up. I had been trying to get them for a while but apparently those are the two that everybody feel like are amazing because they were always out. But this is Disco Rose right there and then the other one that I got is Gingerly. They're next to it. So that's Gingerly and that's Disco Rose and they're both really really pretty. Okay so I picked up another Smashbox blush. I really like their blushes um, and I saw it in Paradise and I just thought that it was so pretty. It's a peachy pink with almost a um, light shimmer to it. I don't even know if I would say that it's shimmer. It's more of like a sheen um, and it gives you kind of that lit from within kind of glow. And I just discovered this about Smashbox blushes. I probably should have known this forever. But hello. There's a beer. I didn't know that. I'm behind. I picked up the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation. I tried this stuff on in store and I was so excited because I have yellow undertones in my skin and nothing ever matches me. Everything looks super orangey, just really weird on my face. I can never find a color that looks really good on me and this one I think will. Um, but it is not a foundation. It shouldn't be marketed as a foundation. It really should just be marketed as a maybe like a tinted moisturizer. I guess it couldn't be a BB cream because it doesn't really have any other skin perfecting benefits. Um, it does, it says it has light to medium coverage and SPF 30 in it. I don't think you'll get medium coverage out of this. It's definitely something that I would wear just on a summer day when I'm kind of sweating and I know that I'm going to be outside or running errands and really active and I don't want a full face of makeup on. So this I think will be perfect for that. I, from what I can tell, I won't be able to build it up to medium coverage, but for light um, sheer coverage on these nice balmy summer days that are coming up or that are basically already here at least here where I am in Charleston South Carolina I actually also picked up this one too it is a benefits better bigger than BB big easy and it is a better than BB cream it is I don't know what makes it better I actually got a sample of this from Sephora, it was one of their little 100 point samples and I didn't think that I was going to like it. I got it in shade 3. I think that was the only shade that they had. It's kind of right here on my knuckle. I don't know if you can see that. It blends out really, really nicely. Biggest thing I hate, smells like sunscreen. It's really strong. If you don't like a super strong sunscreen smell, you're probably not going to like this. And the other thing too is that it also has a lot of yellow undertones. Pretty much all the shades that I could see had yellow undertones, so if you don't have yellow undertones in your skin, or at least neutral undertones, you probably won't be able to wear this. But if you have yellow undertones and you have a hard time finding things that match you, this might be a good option for you if you can get past that really, really strong sunscreen smell. But it actually does give pretty good coverage. I was surprised. I think it actually gives better coverage than the Buxom Show Some Skin Foundation. So. 
Um, yeah, I'm excited to wear this this summer. This this summer. I forgot a Josie Marin product. I actually picked up one of her new products, and this is the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil, and I got it in the color Timeless Coral. And it looks like this, and it is basically the Infinity Cream, only it has a color in it. If you've ever used the Infinity Cream, you probably like this. It smells like the Infinity Cream. It has a similar texture to the Infinity Cream. I think maybe just if you wanted to wear this either alone or with maybe like a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, this would be really, really pretty on the cheeks. I kind of plan on using it more on my lips because I love the Infinity Cream and also her Argan Balm on my lips. It's amazing. She has an Argan Lip Treatment. I use that sometimes, but I actually feel like it dries my lips out more than it actually moisturizes them. I feel like I have to keep putting it on. And with the Infinity Cream and the Argan Balm, I don't feel like that. So this is a really good idea because now I can have a little bit of color on my lips too. I bought a couple of new things. Um, the first one is the Urban Decay Super Saturated Ultra Intense Waterproof Cream Eyeliner. And that looks like this, and it is new um, perversion eyeliners. They came out with a whole bunch of them. There's a um, perversion liquid. There's this one. This is the cream. And then there's also the pencil. And I, there's a couple of others. They have a whole line of them now. So it just looks like this. It's just a cream liner, and it's super, super black. It's perversion. Perversion is Urban Decay's blackest eyeliner. I haven't tried it out. I did play with it in the store and actually in one of my other bags from Ulta I did pick up the brush that comes with this. Normally I would use a um, Sigma angled brush um, to put on my eyeliner but um, I really like that brush. The other thing that I picked up I've been hearing a ton about and I have perpetually chapped lips. When I lived in California which is where I was born and raised I never had chapped lips and then I moved here where there's humidity and I have chapped lips all the time riddle me that. I don't know. I don't understand. But it is this. It is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I know that quite a few people on YouTube have started using this. It came out, I think, in February or March. So it's rather new. I haven't opened mine yet. It looks like this. I'm kind of curious. Oh, there it goes. Barely. It's, I can tell it's really, it's either really thick or this is really hard metal. It's a little bit hard to get out, but oh yeah, no, it's really thick. Oh, it smells good. It smells kind of like all the buxom stuff. It has that like vanilla cake smell. It's super thick. Yeah, it is really sweet. I heard it was really sweet. I was promised you I don't lick all my lip stuff. No, I heard that it was really sweet because the agave in it, um, agave nectar is super sweet and it is super sweet. And it is natural and food grade. So it actually is edible. I wouldn't recommend eating it, but since you're putting it on your lips, obviously you'd want something that is food grade because you're going to get it in your mouth. A Kat Von D product. It is the Everlasting Face Shaper Blush. I've never tried any Kat Von D products. This is my first one, but um, the color Bellissima jumped out at me. I wanted to try something from her line, and I wanted to start off kind of small because I'd never tried anything before, so I thought I would start out with a blush. So it is really, really pretty. When I got it home, I realized that it was really, really similar to the Smashbox shade that I got. So, yeah. This one has, this Smashbox one has a little bit more of a sheen to it. This is definitely more of a pinky coral. So they're similar, but they're not the same. It's really, really pigmented and it's super velvety and it goes on just really, really smooth. It's a really, really beautiful color. It's definitely a nice spring, summer color. I can't wait to try that one out. All right, so I think that's everything that I got from Sephora. So now I'm going to move on to everything that I got from, ooh, everything's rolling away, from Ulta. So this is actually the one that I bought today. This is the Urban Decayed Perversion Angled Brush. Did I just see decayed? It's not Urban Decayed, it's Urban Decay. Um, this is the brush to go along with the Urban Decay Cream Eyeliner. And it just looks like this. And I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm trying to see in the viewfinder, but it's just an angled brush, but there's something about this brush. I don't know. It just works so well with that cream eyeliner. The other thing that I picked up was the Benefit Gimme Brow, and this is in light and medium. They have light, medium, and then I believe they have medium dark. I saw this and I thought it was cute, but it's so tiny. Like, I don't know, it just seems too tiny. Well, the other thing that I picked up is the Bare Minerals Concealer, and this is the 
eye brightener um, in well rested and I've actually seen a couple people on YouTube use this and I'm not a big fan of bare minerals but I like the idea that it's supposed to make you look well rested so I thought that was pretty cool um, so you can use it to set your under eye concealer I don't know if you can see it in there it's just a powder and I don't know what makes it so amazing I'm assuming it has some sort of like um, slight shimmer or sheen to it to kind of give off a luminous effect but I haven't actually opened it up yet so I'm curious to try that another one that I picked up is this OPI nail polish and this is from their Brazil collection this is the color two can do it if you try two can two can do it if you try I picked up a NYX studio liquid eyeliner and this is in extreme gold and it just looks like that it's just right there I don't even know if you can see that it's really really thin the brush is super duper thin the other thing that I picked up that I love, I already have a ton of these, but I picked up more, are these NYX matte lipsticks. They came out with their butter glosses and their matte lipsticks a little while back, and I really, really fell in love with all their butter glosses and the butter lipsticks, and then I discovered the matte ones, and now I am absolutely in love with those ones. So this one is um, Street Cred. And then for over the top of it, I got the... Um, soft matte lip cream in Ibiza so if you can see that see isn't that like so incredibly pretty the other one that I got is in Eden and it is a really really dark red so this is it right there and then to go over the top of that one I got the soft matte lip cream in Monte Carlo and it's super super dark it's crazy dark but it looks really really pretty over the top it comes out as this kind of um, scarlet blood red type of color and I just thought that was so pretty I picked up um, Maybelline baby lips in Dr. Rescue I have the NYX eyeliner pencil and this is what color is this this is in teal I have like no room left in my hand but it's just that right there so I know that that's super popular for um, for spring and summer so I thought that I would pick up some. The next thing that I did is <laughs> pick up a ton of lip pencils and I actually got the NYX Wonder Pencil as well which I've heard is really nice for um, using with um, lipsticks and you know glosses and creams and things like that that tend to uh, run a little bit. Another eyeliner this is the NYX Retractable Eyeliner and this one is in pink and if you can see that very well but that's that one right there the next thing that I got is the NYX infinite shadow stick and this is in bronze and that is this right here and it's nice you can use it um, on the lower lash line you can use it um, as a shadow base you can put this all over and then pack a color on top of it and bronze is so beautiful for spring and summer. I got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I was not that enthused about at first when it came out. I was like, mm, yeah, another palette full of neutrals, you know, whatever. But a friend of mine got it and she loves it. So I decided to take a closer look and I love this case. I love that it comes in a metal case and oh my God, it smells like chocolate. It's made with cocoa powder. There's real cocoa powder infused into these shadows and it smells amazing like I seriously I'm tempted to just kind of lick it like I'm just like oh, maybe I could just lick a little but but I want to eat it I really want to eat it it's that was a selling point between the case and the fact that it smells like chocolate I was like yeah, I'll be taking that home with me. I finally got the Anastasia catwalk palette I am super excited I've been wanting this forever even my daughter every time we would go into Ulta would be like mommy don't you want this I'm like I do, but I don't know, for some reason I was on the fence for so long, I just was like, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it. It's not that it's expensive or anything, it's just that the shadows are kind of basic colors, but the more that I try them on in the store, the more I'm like, oh my god, they're so beautiful. They're really, really pigmented, they're super creamy, they're beautiful, beautiful colors. So I finally went ahead and picked it up. 
So the next thing I got is the new Too Faced Melted Lipstick. It's the Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and I got it in Melted Peony and Melted Fuchsia. The girl in all the advertisements is wearing Melted Fuchsia, and it looks so beautiful. And then Melted Peony, I was playing around in the store, and I really like this one. The other shades, I wasn't that excited about, but these ones were actually really, really beautiful. So I had to pick that one up. The last thing that I got from Ulta is this. This is the Laura Afterglow palette. Um, they actually have Afterglow and Summer Glow. I haven't seen Summer Glow anywhere, so I'm probably going to have to order it online. But Afterglow is exclusive to Ulta. And I can get the paper out. It looks like this, and they are absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited about these. These are the perfect shades for spring and summer, which is what I keep saying about a lot of this, but that's the point because spring is here, summer is coming. We need colors that are gonna go with that. So I picked this up and the colors are beautiful and they're actually pretty pigmented. I don't know if you can see this on my finger. I don't really have anywhere left to swatch except like maybe my wrist. Mm, it's not coming out. Let's see. There we go. It's really, really pretty. It has like a nice sheen to it. It's definitely very, very blendable. It's super creamy and silky and it just feels amazing. So I'm really excited about that one. L'Oreal Paris Collection Privé and they have a bunch of nudes picked out by different celebrities. There was a bunch of them and I actually did like another one. I don't remember which one it was, but I was kind of on the fence. So I'm like, well, I'll try out one of them. And I really liked this. It's definitely new. I don't even know if you'll be able to see this on me. I'm trying to get a lot of color, but right there, it's a nudie kind of pink. It's a super, super sheer pink. And this is the one by Dalston Cross. Cross? I don't know. I think that's how you say her name. This totally screams Victoria's Secret. Like, I see them walking down the runway with their pouty pink lips, and I'm like, I want those lips, so I'm going to try it out. <laughs> I went today to Kohl's, and I actually found stuff from The Balm. They had a couple of things, and I just decided to pick this one up. This is a eyeshadow and eyeliner, eyelid primer all-in-one from The Balm, and it is in Shading Lady is the eyeshadow palette. So, I thought it was, I love their packaging. Their packaging is beautiful, but I thought this was so cool. It's supposed to be special edition, and it just looks like this, and the colors are really, really pretty. They're pretty basic. They're mostly just neutrals. There is a purple in here. There's kind of a bronzy color. Um, there is this black speckled with gold um, shimmer. They're pretty basic, but they're also really, really saturated, and they're beautiful, and I'm a sucker for packaging, and the packaging was really pretty, so I felt for it. And the other thing that it came with is the Put a Lid on It Eye Lip Primer. I've never tried this. I usually use Urban Decay Primer Potion, but why not? Um, all right, well, that's pretty much it for this video. I know it was probably like the longest video of life. Welcome to my channel. I talk a lot and I shop way too much. So um, thank you so much for watching. Um, please, you know, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, you know, comment below. Let me know what you want me to do a tutorial with, what you want to know more about, what you want me to do a review on. Let me know whatever you're interested in. And, um... If you want to follow me on social media, I'll have all the information below. I'm at Instagram and Twitter at um, Teal Blue Beauty, and my website is tealbluebeauty.com. Like I said, that information will all be in the bottom bar along with every single thing that I talked about, which is going to be like the longest description bar of life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel. I hope you liked it. And if you do, stick around because there'll be a lot more videos like this coming up. So thank you guys, and I think that's all I have to say, so I'll talk to you later. Bye!